Dr. D.J. Motel from Anand Agriculture University, Gujarat, India. I am presenting my paper on soil fumigation with desomate and without sodium for management of root blood nematodes in protected condition. May I have the next slide, please? Now, I am going to talk next slide. Yeah, yeah, my uh, different soil fumigants are listed here, but I shall talk about the uh, uh, different, we already tried all these chemicals and they are very effective against uh, the control of root blood nematode in protected cultivation. Next one. Next one. Now, methane sodium. Now, I am going to specifically because these are available in India. Desomate and methane sodium. They are all fumigants. They contain four different types of gases. CS2, carbon disulfide, H2S, hydrogen sulfide, malic hydride, and MIC, MIC, methyl isocyanate. So they are good fumigant, at least for protected cultivation. In protected cultivation, the main problem is of root knot nematode melanogyne species. They are the primary cause in the protected cultivation because they get most conducive environment with reference to the temperature, humidity, even soil condition, other thing. So the nematode population multiplies very fast and create havoc. And therefore, once the crops which are grown like capsicum, tomato, gerbera, ornamental crop, even any other crop which are grown, even, I mean, even uh, cucumber, I think is mainly grown in Rajasthan and many other state in polling houses. They are affected, they are highly susceptible to the nematodes. This root plant nematodes enter in, make the entry. And secondary pathogen like fungi and bacteria, they enter in and make the whole complex. And first crop will be all right, but if you don't take any control measure, for the nematode uh, management, then probably second crop and further they are all failure. May I have the next one? Now these are the properties of resomate. I will not go into detail. It's a soil fumigant. Total soil sterilite. All four gases are there. And even all soil one pathogen, fungi, bacteria, even some of the useful pathogen also will be reduced in the soil. So it as good as it makes the soil totally sterilized free from the pathogen including nematode. Next one. Next one. Method of application is easy in the polyhouses, of course. We have to have a uh, drip irrigation. So irrigation also we can give, but soil should be moist. If you want to it farm air mineral, which it contains a lot of weeds. So if you add that, this is total, the weeds also will be killed. Later on, we should add any, I mean, uh, any air, any farm air mineral having weeds. Now, once we apply this thing, it gets sprayed. It's a granule, 98% granules, white crystal color. And it goes deep to 9 inches. We have to mix it in the soil. And the dose is normally, uh, normally dose is, uh, I mean, 50 grams per meter square. We have to cover with the plastic so that gases will not get evaporated. Next one. And you can see the picture here in polyhouses. The cucumber plant is totally built with the nematode infection. Next one. You can see the level of infection of the roots. Not a single portion of the root is free from galls. And it has supported many nematodes. And plant slowly because it becomes weak. Whatever nutrient and water we give, it does not get absorbed and translocated to the upward translocation to the plant. And therefore, plant is showing wilting, dry, and totally plant will die. Next one. Now, this is coming to the, I will show you the results later on. Vitham sodium is a good chemical, it is also a fumigant, greenish color, greenish yellow color, and we have to use the dose again here 50 ml per square meter. But the thing is very easy compared to the resomate. You, you cover it with this thing, through drip, you can give this chemical, it's a liquid form, and it takes care of the weeds and everything. It is also, I shall show you the results of the polyhouses, Indian condition uh, later on. Thank you. Next one. And here is also same method of application. We have to keep it for 15 days. There is in desomate, we have to keep it for 25 days. Here also, if applying to be applied, it should be five to be applied. Farm air manure, it should be thoroughly mixed with the soil so that a fine containing weeds also will be taken care of by the application of bizarre sodium. Next one. Those is 40 to 50 millimeter per square. Next one. Now you can see the result here. There are eight treatments. Number one is formalin, fumigation with the formalin. I think that the dose is mentioned here, 225 ml per square meter. Second one is the MSM with sodium. Dose is, dose, is, dose is 30 ml 
30 ml per meter square. Third one is formalin plus neem cake applied. Fourth one is metham sodium and neem cake. Then FYM and neem cake and metham sodium and formalin neem cake with, uh, I mean, pseudomona fluorescence. And metham sodium, neem cake, and, and pseudomona fluorescence. That is bioagent. Now you can see here chemical soil vermicron, then cake organic, I mean, de oil cakes, neem cake, and then pseudomona fluorescence and Pacillomacillus. Whenever you see this brown color, methyl sodium, it has an excellent control. When we worked out, uh, this is on tomato in North India, that is in Himachal Pradesh Agriculture University. And then you can see the very good ICB. If we spend one rupee, we get 6.7 rupees. If one is to 3.38 rupees, even more than three and a half rupees. So this is very good chemical added through. Now, same treatment, so I try another next one. So you can see the roots of that experiment. See, if you see the formalin, the heavy gold there, the roots and formalin. There are all clear roots, having no gold on the tomato. They are either treated with metham sodium and the treatment. These are all metham sodium treated. Next one. You can see metham sodium treated, clearly free. All one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They are all free, totally free, practically free almost 99% free. So it has totally checked the nematode, root not have an infection on the next one. Whereas you can see carbofiran, which is basically an insecticide. It is not a level nematicide. Carbofiran having gall and gall gall, rat and gall and egg masses of the nematode. They have been, you can see very clearly. Next one. Carbofiran. Next one. The next one is control untreated. See, there is nothing almost heavy falling. We can put in high intensity. Almost all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine roots are affected. Next one. Now let us go to the metham sodium. The same treatments you see, same eight treatments we tried on another crop in Karnataka, that is Bangalore research station in Palihouse, no, in Maharashtra, Rahuri, on capsicum. There also you can see treatment number two, treatment number four, treatment number six, with arm sodium application at the rate of same dose, 30 ml per square meter has proved to be very superior over, over, over a formalin and other cake and other treatments you see. This trial was repeated, all four trials, tomato, this is a capsicum and another one, they were repeated for two locations, means two, two locations on the same year. So these are the full data of two locations. Next one. You can see the capsicum crop, no weeds and nothing and luxuriant crop. Next, with sodium effect. Next, you can see the other data in polyhouses in Bangalore, same treatments, but the crop was carnation, a flowering crop. And there also you can see the treatment number two, treatment number four, and treatment number six, where, where methyl sodium is there, I think it has produced maximum number of flowers per plant carnation flower, and it has given a very good ICBR. Sorry, uh, RKI reduced flowers and the cost effective uh, when treatment 0 to 5 scale root knot index is very, very high. 30, 68 percent minus 54 percent control, 68 percent control, and 63 percent control of root knot nematode on carnation in polyhouses in Karnataka. Same excellent treatments were same, but three different locations with three different crops. We tried tomato in Himachal Pradesh, then Capsicum in Maharashtra, near Bombay, and the carnation in Karnataka in South India. So you can see very clearly the fumigation in Pizam sodium at the rate of 30 ml per square meter, keeping covering everything with 50, 20, uh, 15 days, and then putting the crop has given excellent control, most economical control, maximum control, and highly economic control. Next one. Now we'll see the plot of the carnation. Fortunately, I also went there. These are the two scientists you can see. And the, the lower side, the right side, you can see the crop affected by the name. Next one. Now you can see good crop is a treatment. The poor crop, there's a treatment or a control or carbofiran. And you can see the polyhouse. This is a replicated trial. You can see overall view of the experiment. These are all, all of these, these strips are there all treated with methyl sodium and other treatment. And these are all controlled, the small one control, you can see. Very stunted growth and heavy volume of this. Next one. Next one. Next one, please. 
या दिस इज ऑन 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 कार्रेशन यू कैन सी इट्स ऑन सोडियम ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड इन अनट्रीटेड हैवी वॉल्यूम नेक्स्ट ऑन सो दिस इज ऑन कंपैरिजन इज ऑन आई थिंक मिथाम सोडियम ट्रीटेड एंड ट्रीटेड दैट इज ऑन कॉलियस यू कैन सी वेरी वेरी मिथाम सोडियम ट्रीटमेंट इज गिवन इन द पॉली हाउस इज द कंपेयर्ड टू कार्बोफिरा आई थिंक ग्रुप्स आर क्वाइट हैवी नेक्स्ट वन and you can see the different treatments and management of root blood tomato and through the lab tomato in polyhouse this is another excellent conducted by colleagues uh, in in himachal pradesh agriculture in your city when the first trial was conducted this is again pulled it out two season because in mitham sodium 40 ml resomate that is 40 g per hectare neem cake and control see over control i think the use root blood in population has gone down rk root blood index also has been reduced 74 78% i compared to neem cake and the control the mark limited population also has gone down and true yield has increased tremendously see in first case with am sorry 144% increase in 110% in nasomate compared to the control whereas neem cake only 61 so icbr is also most favorable incremental cost benefit ratio you can see it is 1 is to 5.6 when it to 4. if we spend 1 rupee we get more than 5 rupees as a Uh, remuneration these are the full data of two years we already published this data and farmers are using not resomate much but with some sodium in india farmers are using to save the crop from the nematode infection particularly cucumber capsicum chinese tomato crops which are cannot be grown outside for next one this is on tomato next one you can see the roots here the top top left top resomate with some sodium now you see the lower one neem neem and control heavy volley all roots have been taken from the experiment see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 roots so compared to control desomate with some sodium practically no volley but neem neem cake there is a calling but this desomate at 40 and with some sodium at 40 they are very fit next one next one you can see similarly effect of management of root blood tomato and fruit cucumber which is a major crop in rajasthan and north north india uh, it's very good in poly houses they are harvesting three crops in a year each crop season is 120 days three months and after three months every year they are doing the purification with mitham sodium 40 desomate they have used my colleague in himachal pradesh he used this cucumber there also you can see icbr and the fruit yield curve 65% and 63% compared to control and 22% compared to them let us see the roots next one see the cucumber roots as like tomato this is control on the lower right side is the control untreated this is neem treated neem cake but as we well are this the all roots are there one two three four five six all all treatment roots together not one or two roots total roots and you can see compared to control There is hundred, almost ninety nine percent control of the nematode, and compared to neem cake, I think uh, it is eighty percent control. You can see both the chemical has given very good effect. Next one. Now you can see in one of the folios, it was myself where gave we have given methane sodium MS application. Next one, drip irrigation. Next one. Next one. And you can see. This how the grow plants are coming up. This is myself, Dr. Vijay Patel. This is our Guruji in one of the temple, a religious temple. It was the next one. You can see the crop, no weeds and nothing on the raised crop, and no stunting, no symptom of the nematode are seen. Next one. Next, uh, you can see the growth, no burning of the leaf, no nematode infection symptom. Next one. In MS application. Next one. and here also the same thing ms application next from other side next one and you can see the roots practically in here on the right side i think one or two goals are there otherwise totally 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all 10 roots a 10 plant roots of fruit randomly uprooted we have seen at the end of the crop that there are no goals means Tam sodium and desomate are the best treatment for control of nematode in the poly house in the rented condition. They are outside also, and farmers are using on a very very large scale. And these chemicals are only manufactured by one time in India. There are not so many companies, pesticide companies, and that too with the advice of myself. 
uh, I think we used azomite and the some sodium long back, but they were not available. We were importing the chemical from USA, even UK. But now from USA, but now we are manufacturing in India, it is cheaper and most cost. Next one. And this is the temple of Lord Swamina, a Guinness book, one first record of Guinness book in London, Nestle area. So friend, I want to conclude that in polyhouse nematode is a major problem, particularly root crop nematode. First crop will be all right, and farmers are not knowing much more about the nematode. Therefore, the first crop will be all right, but second crop, if you don't take any control measure, the crop will be total fair. Right after germination, infection will take place. Even cucumber and capsicum, practically no oil, almost 100% loss is occurred. So, we have requested the farmers, not requested, they have recommended the farmers in polyhouses. They should not remove the polyhouses, but they must fumigate once in a year with metham sodium. The cost is very cheap. Metham sodium is 120 rupees per liter per acre. We require, we require 200 liters. So 200 into, into 120 is 24,000 rupees, but they get 10 times more remuneration. But the, with that also, the good control of about 90%. 80 to 90 percent control of root crop nematode, and they can harvest three crops of cucumber, one good crop of uh, one good crop of uh, capsicum chili, and one good crop good crop of two crops of tomato, uh, uh, Chinese tomato, and uh, one good crop of I mean any flowering plant carnation, or they can take it even germane uh, and other thing. So this is my submission. I request the Indian farmers and whoever watch, watch this thing, they must use it is must to fumigate. This way. Not only nematode, it will take care of the weeds also. It is a good sign. And I tell you, friend, it does not leave you have done the analysis in residue laboratory. It does not leave any residue in fruits, either any crop in fruits, and they no 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 leave any residue in the soil also. But in polyhouses, inside soil will not go outside, or outside untreated soil will not come in the polyhouse. Even outside water also will not come. So we must save the sanitation and therefore this is the best method, the best method, best method to control nematode in polyhouses. Otherwise, people have forgotten because of the nematode and lateral fungus and bacteria pathogenic they enter in and make the whole syndrome of the complex of the diseases and crop is totally failure and farmers are probably their helpless because they don't get whatever they have input fertilizer, even cost of the material, cost of the seeds and other things. So thank you very much for a patient hearing. I thank the organizer for giving me this opportunity, even at Indian time at 10.30 or so. I was, I normally I'm sleeping at 10 o'clock. I'm a retired scientist. I am running 79 years, but I said, no, I must give. But unfortunately, it is good that yesterday I sent the PPT and you share this thing. So for that also, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Good night.